In the book of Matthew, there's a woman, the Syrophoenician woman. She comes to Jesus. She's a Gentile. She's not even supposed to approach him, much less touch him, not even be close to him. She comes to Jesus because of racial division and cultural divides. She comes to Jesus, and here's why. She's got a need. She's got crazy faith. Hazy faith. I don't know how it's going to happen. She's been praying crazy prayers, and she's got crazy purpose. She knows what her identity is. So she comes to Jesus. And she says, my daughter is sick and desperate. I'm desperate. I need you, Jesus. And he doesn't even, he ignores her. Has God ever been silent? And then the people that are around Jesus start saying, hey, 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 get out of here. You shouldn't be here. You ever felt rejected by the church? You ever been hurt by the people that are close to Jesus and actually supposed to represent him, but they don't? They represent their own needs and their own wants and their own desires. Please, please forgive them. Please don't judge the heart of Jesus based on some people who are supposed to represent him. He loves you deeply. He loves you dearly. Here's what happens. Oh, hang on. I gotta take a drink. As for Biggie and Pac. <laughs> White people are like, uh, Biggie and who? And she comes to Jesus. And here's what the Bible says. Real preacher will be back next week, guys. Just, let's just get through this. Matthew chapter 15, verse 25. But she came and began to bow down before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, one of the most shocking statements in Scripture, and I've struggled with it for years. She said, it's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Turn to your neighbor and say, he called her a dog. But she said, yes, Lord. <laughs> she doesn't even argue. She doesn't even say, I'm not a dog. Don't you call me a dog. Nobody calls me a dog. And walks right out of her miracle. She says, yes, Lord. But even the dogs feed on the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, oh, woman, your faith is great. It shall be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed. This is strange because Jesus feels one way and then it changes. Now what we know on the other side of it is he was testing her faith. Can Jesus deter you from your identity, from your purpose? Because your faith will be tested. That's what brings perseverance. That's what works out your destiny. She never even argues that she's a dog. She says one word, Pastor Mike. Ah, uh -huh. ah, that changed. It. When I saw this, I freaked out. I had a praise break right in my hotel room. She said, yeah, but even the children eat the crumbs that fall from there. Everybody say there. That means ownership, their master's table. She said, I might be a dog, but I'm your dog. And I know if I'm under your authority, no matter what I'm going through, you're going to take care of me. No matter what I'm dealing with, I got crazy purpose. I know who I am, and I know whose I am, and I'm going to trust you.